What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Raul and in this tutorial I will show you my way to draw black sunglasses. We were talking about these glasses and as you can see we need to draw the highlights and I will show you how to do the shadows also. Today we need these tools to draw black sunglasses. So we can use Faber Castell eraser or Tombow Monster eraser. But don't forget when you draw dark or black, use this dry brush. Also for very highlights we're using Jelly Roll and you will see during the tutorial. Thank you very much and let's draw this. In these tutorials guys I will start using 8B grade and I draw the shape of the glasses. I'm going very light. I need to make sure I'm happy with the shape of the glasses. And when you have the shape, we can start to shade. Why I'm using 8B grade from the beginning? Because it's about the black sunglasses. For me, it's not a reason to use another grade to outlining the glasses. As you can see, my position of the pencil is bent a little bit in my palm. So I can draw and lining very light. Now we can draw the outline from the nose using 8B because we have already the shape, adding a bit pressure. Also in this tutorial guys you will see how to layering to achieve this dark tone, black sunglasses. As you can see I'm outlining again but this time I'm adding a bit pressure because I'm happy with the shape. Don't forget to cover your drawing before start with the white blank paper to keep your drawing clean till the end. So that's the shape of the frame. If you work with 8B grade, you don't need to press that much. As you can see, I'm outlining very light from the beginning and I'm adding the pressure only when I'm happy with the shape. So I'm staying on the same grade with the same position. Following the reference photo, I'm adding the transparency lancers and I can see a little bit from her skin through the glasses and we will draw that one as well. That will be our lenses. I'm starting from the top and you will see I'm using only dry brush and 8B grade. Also I'm using layers. First layer I'm going light and I'm staying on 8B grade. If you're interested to draw everything I draw guys, you have everything on Pinterest. Just search for Raw Art, download the picture and you can draw after my reference photo. Coming with second layer, as you can see from now, I'm adding a bit pressure on the pencil. On a third layer I can change the position of the pencil and now I'm going till I'm happy with the black color of the graphite. As you can see after third layer we can go very black but where I have highlights I let the paper blank so I can come in with eraser and you will see during the portrait. That means I'm not drawing here because I have highlights and because I have pure white paper it's not reason to add graphite on this part because we have highlights to do. Now we can start to shade because everything will be black using a B grade. I'm using by circles. I'm adding the first layer. Also, we need to outlining harder this part of the lenses. Now we know where it is, so we have the shape. As we have uh, black sunglasses to draw, there's no reason to use another grade, so we're working only with 8B grade today. And also you will see we're working in layers to achieve this dark black tone on the glasses. I'm now using charcoals pencils or charcoal powder in my portraits. I'm working only with graphite pencils so if you love to draw with graphite pencils this is your place to learn and upgrade your skill. And as you can see we're using colorite pencils as well. As you can see I'm on the second layer now. You are not using blending stump in this tutorial. We're using dry brush and you will see the reason. Always dry brush give me smooth and black tone also very soft. But always guys follow the reference photo, check for details and make sure you're going close with the reference photo. I have no drawing lessons or courses, extra courses. I just learn by YouTube channel following the videos and day by day I upgrade my skill and now I'm learning by myself. You can come in one more layer here and as you can see the tone become darker. And now guys after third layer I can add easily dry brush. I will show you a short demonstration. I'm not adding dry brush now, but I will show you only a short demonstration to see how tone we can change in only using dry brush. If you don't have a dry brush, take a normal makeup brush, chop the top of the brush as I did, and you can use for dark tone. And now I'm just blending, and look what's happened with the glasses now, with the frame. We have very dark black tone on the glasses. So that's my technique to add black tone using a b grade and dry brush or you can call the harder brush i'm on a third layer on the corner of the glasses and as you can see i changed the color of the graphite 
only a few layers and dry brush. Leave a comment below if I can help with something or if you need to know anything so I can help you. If you need to know about suppliers or about the papers, special papers for drawing, you can ask anything. From now as you can see we can use very easily dry brush. So we blend this and the tone of the frame changing. Make sure you're not touching the white side of the paper. Very gently in the small parts. I'm coming one more layer using the same grade, AB grade. I think this will be the last layer, but always the last layer I'm going by circles, small circles, so I can cover all sides of the paper. So guys, never press with the pencils. If you work in layers, everything is possible. I'm working in layers and as you can see, I can achieve very dark black tone, as in reference photo is. Everything changing and the details come out. Just soft light layer. You will see you can let for details. I want to give you a few advices when you draw a portrait. Best thing to do, don't eat when you draw. Don't use your hands for shade because the hands have a grease with oil. And if you do this, you will see when you erase and when you shade a few spots and splash on your paper. Also, if you eat in the same time you're drawing, that happened to me before and that's why I'm saying, so don't happen to you as well. I just spit by mistake on the paper and I was very angry. So don't do that mistake. As I told you before, sharp very well your pencils. As you can see for me, any grade of the pencil is very good sharp. As many time I need. Stay on the portrait, tell you happy with the portrait. Add as much details as you can. And good luck with your art. I'm coming again with a dry brush. And now because I have already the details as you can see, I can get over with the dry brush because nothing happened. The details are still there and I can rebuild with electric eraser. As you can see the highlights make the portrait realistic. I'm covering a little bit this with soft layer so I can make the shadow like in reference photo. And I'm coming with electric eraser for highlights to add extra effect of the sunglasses. I'm adding dry brush again. Remember where is dark tone, just add dry brush. You will smoothing the paper, it will cover all sides of the paper. I recommend this dry brush to everyone when you draw a portrait or when you draw with dark tone. I'm going further with another layer and we repeat the same step on the second part of the glasses. As you can see I have already the details so and when I'm coming with electric eraser I can dot in very easy. Leave the details realistic. I'm adding one more layer. Actually, I'm drawing as many layers it needs to achieve the dark tone, like in reference photo. If you work with colored pencils, you can use black color, also in more layers. A lot of people asking me what pencil I'm using for highlights. It's not about the pencil, it's about to let the paper blank and coming with eraser or electric eraser. You come easily to add highlights. As I'm doing now and you can see, I'm left the paper blank. So when I'm coming with eraser or electric eraser, you will see the highlights and reflection looking realistic. So guys, that's the reason for my highlights. It's not about the special pen or pencil. It's about to let the paper blank. If you work on a blank paper, of course. I'm coming with dry brush again. I make sure I'm not touching the side of the nose, inside of the nose, because it's already done. If I'm going with dry brush there, it will be a mistake. As you can see, dark black tone, same reference photo. I draw the bottom of the sunglasses. I'm just checking the reference photo to see where it's dark, so I can go straight away with the layers, changing the tone of the glasses. And now I will add a little bit on the white side, because I'm gonna use electric eraser, you will see when I'm dotting, I can make that sparkle and shiny on the sunglasses. It's like a shiny reflection. Also this part will be shadowing on the cheeks, so we're using the same 8B grade to shade the cheek. I'm using this electric eraser and I'm just dotting and you can see now because I have white paper left blank before I know where the highlights are so I'm going very light using this eraser make the details pop so that's my way to draw guys that's my reason for highlighting it's not about a special pen as you can see same as reference photo and I will show you the reference photo picture as well I need to check for the symmetrics and Make sure I can divide same. Of course, after using electric eraser, we clean the paper. I'm always clean after eraser. And now we need to draw inside of the cheek, actually the lenses. And we're staying on A, B grade. First of all, I'm going soft layer and I'm going everywhere. Remember the position of the pencil for shade. I repeat the same. 
for the second layer and now I need to draw the reflection but before I will shade with toilet paper and I'm gonna shade only the top on the cake and I'm gonna tell you why I'm not shading everything because it will be very dark here there's no reason to shade now repeat the layer because it's bit of shadow from the glasses on the cheek and I'm looking to draw this shadow and now I need to draw the reflection of the lenses I'm looking for the shape first and I draw this dark because it's about the black sunglasses with the dark lenses so I'm using the same grade, 8B grade I'm adding a bit shadow on the top making the cheek realistic I'm coming one more layer and I'm Im imitating the lens of the glasses as you can see, layers by layers the lenses become darker as you can see guys, my way to keep the pencil sharp I'm rotating a little bit till I'm shade in this way I can keep the pencil sharp for longer I'm coming with dry brush now over because I need to make darker so anyway I can use dry brush for this but as you can see I'm going very very light smoothing the paper and also as you can see shining the lenses as you can see I'm not using only for dark tone I'm using for shadows as well this dry brush because it's darker I'm coming with more, more layers depend how dark you want to draw so you're coming with more layers till you're happy with the tone with the dark tone I'm adding a soft texture on the skin staying on 8 b gray I'm going small circles I'm gonna shade the skin with cotton buds or toilet paper and I'm going with shadows from the bottom of the eyes till I meet the shadow of the glasses and for the reflection I'm gonna use dry brush because it will be a little bit darker so dry brush helped me to do that I'm coming one more layer over the shadow this time to make it darker it will be the last one so I'm coming with small circles I need to draw a big gradient from the top to bottom of the cheek so I'm going darker on the top and I'm lighting on the bottom how I'm doing this I'm adding a bit pressure on the top and I leave the pressure on the pencil when I'm going on the bottom and this way I can build the gradient on the lenses I'm gonna shadowing more the bottom only in the middle who's coming from the nose and I'm using dry brush then I can make this darker and as you can see I have dark on the top so I'm coming just soft to bottom and you will see how to build a gradient I need to line in hard it now the bottom of the frame so I can make the glasses looking 3D exactly like I did on John Lennon portrait I'm adding another layer to meet with this outline of the frame to make the effect realistic like a reflection and now I'm shade soft and now we have realistic glasses so I draw only half of the part but I'll show you how we draw so we can go further as you can see I have made the highlights on the glasses and also reflection on the cheek as you can see we have visible a little bit from the skin we draw the same so we're close with the reference photo I just need to dark this top and everything is done I'm adding another layer by circles so I can draw soft skin we have a big shadow from the eye so we need to respect this as well and also the reflection on the lenses where it's darker I'm gonna use soft brush for this part so I can shade soft and to see if I need to add more layers as you can see with soft brush I can draw the shadow from the eye which is can be seen through the glasses and also the part of the skin I'm going small circles even with soft brush but we need to add some pores and for pores we're using eraser my favorite is Faber Castell eraser as you can see guys if you work in layers everything is possible just stay on your portrait and add more layers when I'm happy with the shadow from the eye I'm coming with soft brush for the last time making this part looking realistic now I'm adding soft brush everywhere covering with graphite and for the last step on the lenses I'm adding a bit pores using Faber Castell eraser making the skin same that I did on the top and on the forehead we need to make the pores visible through the glasses not that much because it's dark lenses and now the last touch is about the jelly roll and you know already about the jelly roll just dotting and you make the details pop only when you have very high highlights using this jelly roll my way by dotting 
realistic reflections or using general. So now we need to move further to make the second part of the glasses. So again we layer in and we do the same steps. Remember guys don't forget to let the paper blank for highlights as I did now. So this is a tutorial for how I draw black sunglasses with shadows with everything we need. We will draw next tutorial the mouth and the rest of the face. So if you're interested to learn about the skin on the face, follow my next video and you can upgrade your skin. Thank you very much for watching guys, see you in the next tutorial.